the eldest June solstice transmission, the Pyramid of Shambhala. It was here in the area of Tibet that a pyramid was placed in frequency. Those who followed named it the place of Shambhala. The soul who oversees this pyramid goes by the frequency signature Suli. This is a creational pyramid which connects us with our spiritual wisdom and knowledge. It is within this pyramid that spiritual teachings are created based on the needs of each culture as it evolves. And it was my job as scribe to see to it that these teachings were recorded through oral traditions, in sacred texts and scrolls, within the energies of crystalline bodies, in stone formations, in hieroglyphics and pictographs, in channel manuscripts and other art forms. It is in this pyramid that the entities known as spiritual masters and teachers, angels, gods and goddesses, and spiritual guides originated. Many souls will have memories of arriving on planet Earth through this pyramid, then taking the form of Tibetan monks. It is written that these teachers have secret scrolls hidden away since the dawn of mankind. These teachings can be found within the matrix of this pyramid, given in keys at the end of the cycle. Enter now this pyramid where these scrolls await you. Join with the energies of the three creators of this matrix. Read their words, heed their messages, then you will know. Onkoyino mosina kokino, ina si kokino mokuakia, ina koyiko no mokuakia. In Kasikoino Imosiakoa. Welcome, sweet ones. It gives us great pleasure to be with you in this month of June, and particularly as you experience the amplified celestial energies coming together as one unified cosmic heart over the time of the solstice on June the 20th and 21st. What the solstice energy brings, sweet ones overlighted by the masters from Shambhala and many of the illumined beings of light from on high is a deeper sense of the wisdom that you hold within in your ability to communicate and in your ability to simply observe many of the lessons that you have experienced and learned in this play school on this sacred earth and being able to integrate this into the higher dimensional frequencies of light and the new earth templates of light. And we invite you, sweet ones, into this beautiful pyramid of Shambhala to experience the 12 ray ashrams, the 12 rays spiral forth from the cosmic heart of Mother, Father, God, and each one of you, sweet ones, travels on one or more of these soul rays as you experience many of your lessons on this sacred earth. And it is also the amplification of the threefold flame of power, love and wisdom that activates at this time in addition to a re-emergence of the divine masculine and feminine frequencies led in this instance, sweet ones, through the energy of the divine masculine archetype. So let us set our sacred space as we journey together into this beautiful pyramid of Shambhala, into these ray ashrams, and into this rebalancing through this incredible celestial activity of light and the amplification of the solstice energies. 
We start simply by breathing deep into the body, expanding the lower abdomen as you breathe in and contracting the lower abdomen as you breathe out. Finding that sense of balance and deeper connection into the heart chakra, simply through the awareness of your own energy in this now, sweet ones, through your breath, through the energy of your feet on the earth, through the sense of the knowing of yourself as these sacred transfiguring flames of divine love and master beings of light. Overlighted now by Mother Father God, the Pleiadians, the Syrians, the Andromedans, and the Octurians, all of the light. You experience these beautiful ray frequencies of the Christ at ETs, and in particular, this beautiful silver gold flame of the Syrian Archangelic League of the Light as they overlight you in the sacred year of 2015 as they take you deeper into the heart in the ability to heal the wounds of old relationships and activate the sacred sexual energy of Tantra, of unity consciousness, lifting you into the dimensional frequencies of the new earth template, sweet one. You call in now the archangels and their divine feminine counterparts, the mighty Elohim, the order of Melchizedek and Lord Melchizedek, Malkyor the galactic Logos, Helios and Vesta the solar Logos, Sanakamara, the bridge to solar Christ consciousness, Lord Buddha, the planetary logos. Starting to connect deeper now into Shambhala. Experiencing and sensing the energies of the Ray Masters. Master Almore. Katsumi, Serapis Bay, Paul the Venetian, Hilarion, Sananda, Saint Germain and Lady Portia, Lady Nada, Mother Mary, Alagobi, Kuan Yin and Pallas Athena. And merging now with your beloved I Am Presence, highest light that you are within the cosmic heart of Mother Father God. Calling in your master guides and your guardian angel and all other beings of light from on high you personally acknowledge and wish to join you now in the sacred space. And you have a sense now as the energies of the solstice approach of connecting into the unity grid of divine love this grid of light within you and around you linking you now into the I am avatar consciousness of light connecting you to the light workers and the star seated ones to your soul and star family and friends of the light coming deeper and deeper into your own heart, sweet ones, into the integration of the ray frequencies, into the integration of your divine masculine and feminine spirits, and into the ability to hold and activate at a deeper level within your heart the threefold flame 
of empowerment, of love and of wisdom. In koyino mosina ki koayina, imo kosi koyino, imo soa kia, in kasina kakio, ino mosina kioko. And now, Suli overlights you, inviting you to travel into the Ray ashrams of Shambhala to integrate any of the lower ray frequencies, in particular of the first seven rays that you may still be working with, sweet ones, in the healing of your wounds, in power, in control, struggles or issues, in lack of abundance issues. Whatever these issues are for you, sweet ones, there is a focus in this now through the solstice energies and the activation of the threefold flame and the embrace of your divine masculine and feminine spirit. And you have a sense now of connecting in to Shambhala, visualizing this beautiful external Merkaba vehicle of light now activate around your body and energy field. In the highest light ray frequencies of your beloved I am present, connecting now to all the illumined beings of light and light workers as you travel now through the grids of divine love into the pyramid of Shambhala then in the etheric of Tibet and the Gobi Desert as you enter into this pyramid of Shambhala you are welcomed and greeted by Suli And you have a sense too of many of the ascended masters and ray masters that may come forward at this time as master guides to you, sweet ones. For in your travels on the inner plains, many of you have worked with the masters from Shambhala as the students, the chillers on the thread. You have been imbued with the energy of the particular masters that are part of the soul ray frequencies that you are integrating in this lifetime, sweet ones. And these familiar energies are presented to you either through the ray masters or through colors or symbols or sounds, taking you deeper into the knowing that you are indeed activating for yourself and others the new earth templates of light, of creating these pathways of divine love in the recognition of your own challenges as initiations of light. And now it is Master Almore who comes for it and welcomes you into the first ray ashram of will and power. As you enter into this ray ashram, you are wrapped now in this beautiful red flame of light. The energy of this ray ashram, sweet one, as with all the first seven ray ashrams, brings through both the higher and lower qualities to the rays. Much as you walk the karmic pathway and the Christ timelines. But it is in the knowing that you are experiencing the Christ timelines as these sacred transfiguring flames of divine love and your ability to surrender 
to every single aspect of your journey and what it presents to you, sweet ones. That will allow you to merge the karmic and the Christ of timelines. And as you are wrapped once more in this beautiful red flame of light, you have a sense of aligning your will deep into the will of God. Of being the spiritual warrior on your journeys. Ensuring that justice shall be served. Doing so with compassion, with understanding of the pain and suffering of others with discernment, with clear boundaries and with your ability, sweet one, to simply love all those around you, no longer in this dance of separation, no longer in this sense of them and us, simply loving or observing or choosing discernment as is appropriate to each situation no longer acting or reacting in a way that perpetuates the victim or persecutor consciousness. And you see if there are any power or control issues that you are still working with. Allow yourselves to simply observe what comes to mind. To bless, to forgive, to love, to let go, to integrate to appreciate, to celebrate all that you are experiencing, sweet ones, in finding your balance, in experiencing a greater sense of the wisdom that you hold, of the power that you have, and the love that you are. In koino mosina kokino, ikasi koino mosina, in Kasina Koyo, in Omoakia, in Kasina Kokio, in Mosina. And now you find yourself overlighted by Master Katumi and being led into the second ray ashram of love and wisdom, wrapped now in a beautiful blue pink flame of divine love. The energy of this ray, sweet ones, is very much about finding the nurturing and the love and the appreciation of self, as well as a greater sense of your heart's dreaming and your heart's joy. And you have a sense to of what it is that may be coming up for you in terms of the self-saboteur or addiction or blockages that prevent you from truly experiencing your full magnificence and light. And as you embrace these sub-personality aspects within your heart and within your love, you find, sweet ones, that you are simply accepting of all that you are and where you are, loving and appreciating yourself without judgment, nurturing and being kind to yourselves, complimenting yourselves and finding balance. in your ability to give to others and to give to yourselves by putting yourselves first, sweet ones. In koyeno mosina kiko akina in kasi koyeno mosia kia in kaino koyi mosia in kasina kokio Inomusina 
And now, sweet ones, you are overlighted by Master Serapis Bay. As you find yourselves now within this third ray ashram within Shambhala, wrapped in this beautiful yellow golden flame of wisdom, of divine intelligence. This ray in particular, sweet ones, amplifies the perceived separation that is experienced through lesser than and better than consciousness and spiritual arrogance or lack of self-esteem and self-worth. You let go of these comparative measures, sweet ones. For you understand that all is divinely perfect. Your unique gifts and the knowing that you are immeasurable in your magnificence and light and what you add to the collective as your individual puzzle piece. There is a greater sense of unity that starts to merge as you start to experience a merging to of the Christ of timelines and the karmic timelines, of your divine and masculine and feminine spirits. You are being led with wisdom, with insight, understanding, knowledge, love, empowerment, and the overlighting of your beloved I am presence as you walk the pathway of divine love. And right now, sweet ones, the illumination of the mind of God activates through the pituitary, the pineal, the hypothalamus, and the thalamus glands. In koino mo sinaki o koakia, in kaino koimo siakia, in kasino koiko imo sinaki o koa. In Kasina Kakio Imosiakia. And now, sweet ones, you experience the overlighting of Master Paul the Venetian as you are invited now into the fourth ray ashram of harmony through conflict. As you enter into this ashram, you are wrapped in this beautiful emerald green flame of light. The energy of this ray ashram, sweet ones, is very much about the experience of harmony through conflict. It is also about a deeper sense of your creative gifts and your ability to simply find appreciation in the moment no matter what is going on around you, knowing that all is divinely perfect, all is well, to release the fear or the stress, the tension, the worry. You see this beautiful flame dissolving energetically into each sub particle of your beingness, taking you deeper and deeper into your heart's dreaming and your creative gifts and the experience of peace and serenity, harmony and balance within your own lives, sweet ones. In koino mo sinaki koino e kasi kakino i mo sinakia in kasina kakoa in kasina koino mo siya And now, sweet ones, Master Hilarion overlights you, inviting you into the fifth ray ashram of concrete knowledge. 
And as you find yourself now entering into this beautiful ashram of light, you are wrapped in this orange flame. The essence of this ray, sweet one, is taking you into the integration of the spiritual scientific principles through the rebalancing of the left and right hemispheres of the brain, the mental and the emotional body, the physical and the spiritual bodies of finding in essence the ability to express your truth in such a way that the foundational understandings activate in a deeper level of knowing of the higher mind teachings of life. And you allow these observations and understandings through the various timelines that activate in this now and the amplification of the solstice energies to bring to you right now, sweet ones, what you are needing for the perfect balance between your emotional and mental bodies, between your spiritual and physical bodies. In kosino kui mo sinakia, in kasi kui no mo sinakia, in kasi kui no mo sinakia, in kasi kakiono imo siakia. And now, Sananda overlights you, inviting you into the six ray ashram of devotion and idealism. As you enter now into this ray ashram, sweet one, you are wrapped in this beautiful indigo flame of light. The essence of this ray, frequency, activates the greater soul signature of your devotion, sweet ones, to assisting in the creation of your heaven on earth and these new earth templates of light, giving you the strength and the wisdom and understanding to commit to the pathway of divine love and all the responsibilities that may come from, from it and with it. The understanding as we have previously expressed of your challenges as initiations of light and your unwavering commitment to the light regardless of what is going on around you or within this world. Knowing, sweet ones, that love will always prevail. And if there is an aspect of your consciousness that is still needing to experience a deeper sense of trust and surrender to the divine, you allow these beautiful indigo flames of light and the frequencies of the six ray of devotion and idealism to activate at a cellular level to take you more deeply into this pathway of divine love. Ino mosino kuino kuaki sakino imo suwa kia kuno kua in kasina kaikino imo sia kuakia ino kuino mosia e kasina kakio ino mosia kia and now sweet ones you are overlighted by master saint germain who invites you 
into the seventh ray ashram of ceremonial magic. As you enter into this ashram, you are wrapped in this beautiful violet flame of God's infinite perfection. It is the energy of this ray that imbues this earth plane in this now, sweet one. Why so many of you invoke and activate and accelerate your own ascension process has been through the rays of infinite perfection that stream in consciousness through the seventh ray ashram to which many of the rays themselves activate into greater streams of light and in particular take you into the bridge that allows you to access the five higher earthly rays and an additional six cosmic rays as you experience this beautiful violet flame of transformation of God's infinite perfection. You have a sense of the abundance of every area of your life. Your ability to not only let go of old issues, beliefs and judgments but to know that you are doing this too collectively, sweet ones, in shifting the energy of the sacred earth, creating a level of abundance, including financial abundance, in every area of your life. In koino mosina kiokoa, in kasina kakino, Imo si koko akino, ina mai ko si akina, in kasina kakio, imo su akia, in kasina kakia, ino musina kia ko. Good. And now it is Lady Nada that comes forward and overlights you, inviting you into the eighth ray ashram of transmutation. And as you enter into this ashram of light, wrapped in this beautiful seafoam green and violet colored ray, you have a deeper sense now of simply walking the pathway of divine love and the Christ of timelines merging the timelines of your highest potentials, coming deeper and deeper into your heart streaming and the rebalancing of your divine masculine and feminine spirits. This ray, sweet ones, also starts to activate a deeper sense of your extrasensory perception gifts and brings through in particular the ability to transfigure energetic and physical changes particularly on health issues or dis-ease or discomfort within the physical body. It is a ray upon which you walk that brings a greater sense of your heart's passion and a greater sense of nurturing to self and a greater sense of connecting in community. I koi no koi no mosia, in kasina koi kosi no koaki no moaia, in kasi kaki no imosina kia. Wonderful, sweet ones. You now find yourself overlighted by Mother Mary, as you're invited into 
the ninth ray ashram of highest potentials. As you enter into this ashram of light, you are wrapped now in this beautiful blue-green flame of light. This ray as it expresses in its full magnificence, sweet ones, indeed takes you into a deeper sense of your potentiality and merges the timelines from this dimension and all dimensions of light to take you deep into the abyss, into the multi-dimensional aspects of yourselves in which you experience your many gifts as the healers and the teachers, the poets, the writers, the channelers, the transmitters, the artists, the dancers. It matters not. It brings a greater sense of connecting and joy to your soul purpose through the activation of the original divine ASAP blueprint within the perineum center and a deeper alignment into the cosmic heart of God. And you just allow this joy to activate at a cellular level within your bodies and energy fields in this now, sweet ones. In Kursi no Kui mo si akia In no waki no si mo kuakia In kasina kakino i mo si akoa In a kui koa and now you find yourselves overlighted by Alagobi, Shohan to the 10th ray of divinity, who invites you now into this 10th ray ashram of light. As you enter into this 10th ray ashram of divinity, you are wrapped now in this beautiful pleasant flame of light. It is within this beautiful ashram that you merge with your multi-dimensional aspects and experience, sweet one, this essence of divinity through the perfect balance of the threefold flame of empowerment, of love, of wisdom, of letting go of any level of victim or persecutor consciousness and your ability to know that you have already been walking the pathways of divine love and creating these pathways for yourselves and for others. For some time now, sweet ones, and you honor this journey, for it is taking you into a greater level of your blossoming, your magnificence and your light. And we know that this has not been an easy journey for most of you. Not only imbued by the lower dimensional frequencies, but also in your ability to remain completely aligned into the higher dimensional templates with all that is going on from an external perspective on the sacred earth. And now the stability comes, sweet one. For yourselves and for others as you come together at the time of the solstice and you experience now this great sense of activating this perfect balance for yourself as this beautiful lotus activates within the heart chakra this balance of empowerment of love and of wisdom. In Kusino Kui Mosiakia, Ino Mosina Koakino Koakisho no Koa, Ina Koakio Moshinakia. And now you express over lighting. of Lady Kuan Yin inviting you into the 11th ray ashram of divine love and illumined truth. And as you enter into this ashram of light, 
as these sacred transfiguring flames of divine love and master beings of light. You are wrapped in this beautiful pink orange flame, bringing with it a greater sense of insight and understanding and wisdom, heart-centered in the knowing of the choices that you make, sweet one that align you deep into your journey of the knowing of the ability to experience love no matter what is being experienced around you. At this level there are no need for further reflection. Only the lessons of love and unity that bind you as one cosmic heart of divine love, sweet one, amplifies in this now into a greater level of communication, the utterance and expression of your spiritual reality as you embrace yourselves in a deeper level of nurturing and love, understanding, insight and wisdom. In koino mosina ki ko akino, i mosia ko akia, ino ko iko, ino mosia kia. And lastly, now, sweet ones, you are invited into the twelfth ray ashram, the twelfth ray of unity consciousness, over lighted Lady Palace Athena. Lady Palace Athena now wraps you in this beautiful golden flame of Christ consciousness, of unity consciousness, connecting you deep into the energy of the divine masculine archetype, your divine masculine spirit appears to the front of you now and your divine feminine spirit to the back of you. Both place their hands upon the heart chakra. And as you experience this dance into the perfect balance, sweet ones, of your divine masculine and feminine spirit, the Kundalini and Tantric channels activate to the maximum cosmic law can allow. Within this sacred space, as you activate your golden heart, in empowerment and love, wisdom, illumination, joy, abundance, and understanding. In Kosino Kui Komosia, Ino Kui no Mosina Kiaka, Ino Kuaki no Mosia. In Kasina Kaiko, Ino Mosiakia. Good. Tsuli comes forwards now and embracing you in the energies, in particular, of the first three rays of power, love, and wisdom invite you now into the office of the Christ at one through the second ray ashram of love and wisdom and as you travel through and within the second ray ashram in this pyramid of Shambhala you enter now into the office of the Christ at one wrapped once more in this beautiful golden flame of unity consciousness and now the silver gold flame of sacred sexuality over lighted by the Syrian Archangelic League of the Light. You are lifting yourselves more and more into the Christ at mind, sweet ones. And you are further over lighted right now by the energy of Helios and Vesta, the solar loci, as you link into the sun and into the solo crystalline codes of creation 
and the newest templates of light through the sun within your heart within your golden heart and now from here into this central sun and now the great central sun as you align fully through all dimensions into the cosmic heart of Mother Father God you become aware that you are surrounded now in a circle of 12 men and 12 women these divine deities representing the divine feminine deities and the divine masculine deities invite you to merge into this circle of unity and as you step forward, it is with the male deities that you merge first, sweet ones. As you experience the amplification of these solstice energies. In koyeno mosina koakino, imo soakino koakia, in kasina kokino, imo sia koakino. This brings strength and courage and the healing of the wounds of your relationships that you may have with the divine masculine energy to all of you, sweet ones. And you just experience a greater level of the Kundalini and Tantric channels activating and the healing of the wounds of your relationship relationships in this beautiful office of the Christed one inokui komo sina kiakoa inakui no mo sina kiakoa inkaino imosia inkasina kakino and now sweet ones you merge with the divine feminine deities feeling and experiencing the love of the divine mother healing the wounds of relationships experiencing this love and nurturing within yourself and knowing, sweet ones, you no longer need to experience old karmic relationships or patterns unless you have the firm belief that this is how you learn best. For you have completely merged the timelines now and you are experiencing the full magnificence of your light through the integration of your divine masculine and feminine spirit. This is a time, sweet ones, of new beginnings once more. And as you come back now into your sacred spaces, traveling in your external Merkaba vehicles of light energetically, coming back into your sacred spaces fully grounded and centered. You experience amplification of the threefold flame of empowerment, love and wisdom. And we say to you, sweet one, that when you are ready, 
the scrolls of light that exist within Shambhala carrying the hieroglyphics of the higher mind teachings of light that many of you would know as the right eye of Horus will activate through the third eye initially in the form of sacred geometries or these hieroglyphics or key codes of light that will bring a greater remembrance of your work with Shambhala and how you can more deeply assist in your service work for the sacred earth. You ground now into the crystal heart of Mother Earth and into the inner earth sun, visualizing this grounding cord coming from the sacral chakra and taking it deep into the energy of the earth. Mother Earth sends you her love back up your grounding cord into your body and energy field. And you are wrapped in these beautiful flames of divine love and these rays of creation. And see if there are particular rays that come to mind, sweet ones, that you may still be working with and integrating as you accelerate into a greater level of the knowing of your magnificence and light. And we thank you, sweet ones, for your service work. And we bless you. And with this, we bid you a most magical day.